Can you tell us about when you first started making shells, shell work? Well, I used to go and pick shells all the time, so I've been around shells all my life. I used to sit with my mother and she'd do it. And Bella used to come around and buy things, buy shell work. So I wanted my picture for you one night. <laughs> so I sat down and I made this little brooch and I sold it. So that, that gave me an idea that what I could do. So the next thing that I done was a little pair of shoes. And from there I kept going bigger and bigger and bigger till I got to the big stuff with Jonathan. In the past we've done some public artworks. We've, we've done that little um, temporary public artworks looking at people making their own paper shells and putting them on to a really big harbour bridge. And then we started talking a long time ago about a feature wall of shells. And so the project really was to kind of, you know, celebrate Aboriginal history, celebrate Aboriginal women's histories and practices from this place. And so I guess that really was the driving idea behind the artwork. And so Esme has done the design for that work, which took a while to get right. I don't know how many times we changed it around. <laughs> Jonathan was getting sick of me. Move this, Jonathan. That's not right, you know. Well, it's been really good to think about how we can take your practice and do something a bit different with it. The Harbour Bridge came on and everyone's really embraced that. So this is just a continuation of, you know, exploring those ideas and those traditions. Oh, I think it's great. I just can't wait to see it.